All right, I'm about to use this as a rear view camera. It looks like he's ready. You ready? Yeah. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our super cheap boat project. What we really need to do today is honestly fasten our wake tower 100% because we got a custom sunshade top, whatever you wanna call it, made for this thing and we need to make sure all the measurements are precise. As well as this side of the boat, we need to go ahead and prep this side for our raft. We do have a ton of scratches right here. We need to sand all that down. And once we do all that, we're probably gonna jump on the interior of this boat figure out why our speedometer is not working as well as our blower fan. And then after all that, if we do have time, we're gonna give you guys a build rundown. A lot of people have been asking about the Ferrari, about our Viper and our custom supercar. So let's go ahead, not wasting time and get straight to work. So this thing is finally fastened and it's pretty dang strong. I gotta say, it says not to hang on it, but we're gonna be skiing with this thing. So I wanna put as much weight as possible on this thing. I don't weigh that much, but most of the force is gonna be facing that way. You know, this yeah. thing is just gonna get pulled that way. I wanna know how that's gonna work. Hopefully this stuff doesn't just rip off, rip a big hole into our uh, hole right here because it does mount pretty good though. There's uh, there's actual metal, uh, big metal washer that's on the inside holding everything together. So we should be good there. But right now we're gonna go ahead and clean everything up because we made a big mess. Clean all of our tools up and then we're gonna move to this dash. We wanna find out why our speedometer is not working. Once we figure that out, we're gonna move inside the engine bay and figure out why our blower fan's not working. Maybe clean it up a little bit in there and uh, maybe go through a bunch of stuff too because we really never went through nothing on the engine so we might as well go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, they went bad on us. They went bad on us. I'm telling you, good. thing probably got filled with a little bit of water, hold on, got heavier. Hold on. hold on, that's what that thing is for, that's right what there. I was wondering, somebody broke it in half for a reason, Perfect. and we did figure out something cool. Yes, sir, we sure did. Back up, go ahead, and do it. I'm gonna back away. You may need help though. That whole entire thing just bends down. Look at that engine, though. That, that five. Is crazy. Oh, I wonder if it can huge. go more. Turn yes, the seat sir, sideways. turn them both sideways and. That one won't turn. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Dang, dude. We're gonna have to remove all this stuff because we are gonna be redoing this carpet. We're gonna go like a dark gray on it, probably. Yeah, this carpet is disgusting, man. But Definitely yeah. need to redo it. It's all soaked and stuff, but check this out, dude. This is insane. I wonder what this is. Some sort is. of other board there. Screw, Screw down in. or something. Oh, dude, there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't know. I think, ooh, that's the automatic uh, trim. No, the automatic, uh, whatever this the pump, pump is called. Yeah, if there's a certain amount of water, you don't have to turn it on. It'll cut on automatically for you, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sometimes cool. Sometimes you forget to turn that pump on. Good thing we 
Good thing, thing there's an automatic, that, yeah. yeah, automatic pump there. And the thing, and what we're trying to find out is where that uh, one speedometer hose leads to. And then again, uh, you said that you were wanting to find out the hours on this yeah. pump. There's no hour meter over there, so I was thinking that there's probably one at, in the back somewhere. There has to be, you know. Yes, sir. So let's remove this thing right here. You want me to jump down and remove this? That way we can get a better look at this engine. Let's do it. Would you look at that? What the heck is that? I was wondering. It's like a little. There's like a plug right here, and there's a plug right here. I that don't know is what so that is. weird, dude. I've never seen that before. But be something to do with winterizing this thing or something like that. But anyways, moving on to this 5.0 liter. Uh, I've seen that some people put uh, Edelbrock carburetors on this thing. I wonder if that makes it more power or just makes it run better. I don't know nothing about carbureted engines, so you guys out there that mess with classics or mess with these <laughs> Chevy 5.0s. Is this a small block or big block? Drop that in the comment section down below because I is honestly it, do not know. Is it a 350? I don't know. <laughs> but it is a 5.0 and I've seen people put some Edel, Edelbrock uh, carburetors on there, so. We'll probably buy one if it makes it have more power or something yep. like that. Or do like the straight out the back exhaust. It makes oh, it sound absolutely amazing. That would be crazy. But we're going to save that for later. What's in here? Look, it looks like it's we need... low, ain't it? Whoa, what is that? It's real low. Driveline lube. Driveline lube? We need some driveline. Drive line. lube. What does that mean? Dude, that's not good. Drive lube monitor. Yeah. says to monitor it. So we're gonna keep looking around, see if we can find anything new or interesting. Let's try to find them ours as well. Yep, let's do it. Is there just one fan on this thing? Yeah, one fan and already a bunch of water came out, but yeah, oh, see it's how rusted. tight? Yeah, it's probably rusted I and mean, it's super tight on there. I wonder if we, we just, just, no, we'll probably fix this fix one. This one? Yeah, I can probably push this, if I can, try to push this engine out, spray some of that. Dude, I think I already fixed it. Honestly. Go ahead, plug it up, see what, see what it does. Yeah, it was just seized up from sitting so long, I guess. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. Dang, that was a quick, easy fix. That never happens. Love it. Powerful fan. Just put it back together, honestly. Now we're gonna uh, figure out some more things. We did find out that this, uh, Hydraulic fluid is actually milky. If you guys, uh, any of you boat guys know how to change that out without completely messing up the hydraulic system, we would be glad to know. So comment down below if you know how to change out this hydraulic fluid. I know we can just pump it out right here and put a new one in, but I want to change it out through the whole entire system. So let us know on that. All right, guys, now that we got the blower pump working, everything working pretty good, topped off all the fluids. Now I want to go ahead and actually clean this engine bay right here. It's super dirty, maybe detail the engine a little bit, make it look nice, of course, and uh, see if we can find anything else that we need to fix on this boat. Uh, we're looking good so far. Everything's looking pretty decent, you know, except for, I guess, when that water was so high up in this engine bay, it just made it a huge mess. So. This carpet too is pretty dirty. We're thinking about just entirely replacing the entire carpet. Um, that that's a big job. It I, is. I'm I, at. I think it definitely needs to happen, dude. Because I I just I don't like looking at that. Yeah, it's definitely mm. disgusting. We'll probably get some marine grade carpet or some waterproof carpet and change this stuff out ourselves. I know it's a big task, but we can do it. So let's go ahead. First of all, clean this engine bay up, and then we'll move on from there. guys we just give this engine a shine dude just look at it. it almost looks brand new now but we did discover a few things on the way uh there's actually some plugs that are not plugged in i don't know if that means anything maybe some extra stuff that will go on this boat there's actually a ground on this side that's uh, not plugged in right there, but honestly, everything works so far, so I don't know what that would uh, do. Moving on to our other issue, this belt right here is just seen better days. As you can tell, it folds really easy, super flimsy. It's done, folks. You could probably pop it off right here. Oh yeah, you sure oh, can. Easily, easily just pop this Might as well off. go ahead and pop it off. We'll run to the store right now. Let's do it. 
Maybe it's easier said than done. Yeah. No, it's actually really easy to pop off. I wonder if that could have anything to do with a uh, power loss. Maybe it's slipping a little bit. I'm just curious if that could be a possibility. Definitely, if it's slipping, something will definitely have to happen with the power. But anyways, I got this on video, so I know how it goes. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Let's we're good go there. Pop this thing off. I would like to check this power steering right quick while we're at it here. Any fluid? Oh yeah, we're good. Good on fluid. It says to add. Or no, yeah, we're definitely good on the power steering. Uh, everything else seems good. We will have to change that milky stuff and that trim uh, thing right there, whatever you call it. But let's run to the store and see if we can find a belt. All right, guys, so we're at the parts store when we totally forgot the old belt, but we're gonna cross-reference a few parts and hopefully they can find one. And uh, if not, we're just gonna have to run, grab our old belt and just measure it up, see if we can find it that way, so. Hopefully they can find this one right now and we don't have to make two trips. All right, so we made it back. We got our belt right here. It's almost like two millimeters bigger because they didn't have the exact size, but anyway, it should work. Let's go ahead and throw this sucker on. All right, so now that we went ahead and put this all back together right here, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this radio working. So let's see what we can come up with. So we just can't figure out why our radio ain't working. It's probably just an old head unit. We may get one tomorrow, a brand new one, probably at a local parts store for around 50 bucks if they're that cheap. I really don't know how much these things run. But that's gonna be it for tonight because tomorrow in the morning, we're gonna actually run to a upholstery shop, see if we can get a quote on what it would take to redo everything. The carpet, we'll probably leave that to ourselves. It should be super simple yeah. to change. Definitely gonna go a different color route on that. But for now, we're probably gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow and see where we go from then. Yeah. I'm a late starter, but I work late. I work at 10 11. Yeah, just, we work late too. There's tons of colors here, man. Oh yeah. I don't know about, these are all dark blues. We may have to go lighter blue. Oh, they got some brights under here, I think. Look at that. You see that red carbon fiber? Yeah, oh, look at that neon sweet. carbon fiber. Yeah, we're gonna look through this and find two colors we like and we'll show you guys later. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and we're actually at the upholstery shop right here. Old man running his own business. Yep, I mean, he gave us uh, a few estimates on how much it'll cost and how long it'll take. Um, it's pretty long, he said about three weeks is his most, yeah. which... But the price is great and we already picked out a few colors or we're looking at a few colors, but we're gonna like, get out of here and do some more thinking, do some more research, see what we're gonna do first, the wrap or the... The wrap or the or upholstery, upholstery. Yeah, definitely. But anyways, in the right meantime, now, we need to go test out this wake tower. Let's go for it. Let's we're gonna actually it. go to the lake right now and uh, probably see if this thing doesn't break on us because I'm really suspicious on how it mounts and stuff like that. So let's head back to the shop and get everything that we need and head straight to the lake. Let's do it. All right, so we arrived to the boat dock. And uh, we got the wakeboard, we got the we got the rope, we bought some rope, and let's see how packed it is today. Dang, Dude, it is. There are some sick boats oh, out here. Goodness, man, we got some competition, boys. <laughs> oh, look at that green. Look at that blue and that gray. That looks so good. I love the, those colors. Those oh, are actually. Look, somebody's not even connected to it. We're just gonna attach it. Might as well trade boats. There goes our ZO6. Dang, yeah. Uh, dang, that looks kind of similar. Dang, dude. Look at that beast. What's the name of that? Is the X? I don't know. We'll get there soon, but under under that price range, you know what I mean. Oh, that's too way expensive. under that price. I'd rather be around eighteen hundred dollars in. <laughs> yeah, right. Now we're gonna be around. Uh, like I was saying, ten grand, hopefully. Hopefully, to make it look after the wrap and all after that interior is done. But let's go into that water and uh, see if this thing doesn't rip off the boat. <laughs> oh, and he is off. Look at him go. I'm gonna go park this thing and hop on. There's that beast right there, a little up close. Man, she's looking beautiful. But we'll get there soon. Look at him go. Oh, snap. Uh, the water seems pretty pretty calm out there. What do you think, or is it choppy? Ah, it's good enough for us. Ah, it doesn't matter. The more waves, the better anyways. Let's let's see how, th how this thing runs before we actually start. Uh, wake, waking. Yeah, wake we, still, we still got to check this thing because, I mean, we just had it for, what, like a week or so? Yeah, and uh, we did, like, do fluid changes. We added some fluids, changed the belt. Yeah, changed the stuff belt. like that. Let me go full throttle and see what it does. Let's do it. I think it runs way better. Really? Yeah. All right, 
so everything seems to be running fine it actually seems to be running a little bit better than before yeah it actually runs a lot better it doesn't really uh vibrate in, or anything in the or sputter i guess on full throttle yeah. it actually goes well over the six thousand uh rpm, RPM. but okay. we got our new yeah. wakeboard uh whatever oh. you want to call this uh Wake tow rope. rope so let's go ahead and see how this connects up here it almost looks like it can slip off you know what i mean Maybe um, we should just. It should just. You should just be able to put it over the top of it. Real true. simple, like this. This end right here. Don't get it tangled though. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to look That's, this up. Uh, maybe we can just do one more. Oh loop yeah, double it. Right there, there you go. That's it. It ain't going nowhere. Oh, it's not. All right. Hopefully, go. I don't take this with me in the water. Man, I'm if gonna it be does watching. Fall, I'm just gonna let it go. We don't I'm, need it. I'm gonna be watching it real closely. Yeah, watch the mounts up front mainly, and the back mounts to see if how hard they flex whenever yeah. I'm, whenever you're pulling me. But for now, let's go ahead and drop the wakeboard in the water and see if we can wakeboard because I haven't did this in such a long time. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I'll be able to stand up. But let's get it. Hey, I like that life jacket right there. It says full throttle. That's what I'll be doing the whole way. Oh. I hope not. <laughs> has a rear view camera. Looks like he's ready. You ready? Yeah. Whew, man, that was, that was tough filming it. How was the ride? It's a lot of fun, dude. Way better with the wake tower. Dang, dude. Way I can't wait to give it a shot. done yeah i'm done dude i'm wore out all right dude that was sick that was dude. Lit, dude i think you did like a three backflips at once <laughs> triple 360 yeah but dude this tower is holding up real nice oh, yeah. not even flexing not one bit nope this is this is sick dude i'm super happy with the quality of this thing actually all right guys so i just had a blast up there he just had a blast and the tower works great uh too bad we couldn't figure out our interior issue we haven't come up with anything yet uh, we're still debating but let us know what you guys think we should do with the interior should we attempt it ourselves that's a pretty big task right there definitely pretty big task but we thought about it together and we're probably going to just go ahead and do the wrap first of all yeah. you know get that done because that'll probably be the easiest and fastest thing because a lot of people yeah. are are saying a couple weeks a lot of people are saying a couple days it just depends and the price is very major on whoever does yeah, it's it you know? upwards up to 3500 2500 2000 is already going to take like a month to do but in the meantime we're going to go ahead go back home and give you guys a quick build update like we promised let's do it but first of all Let's hit a few 360s on this thing. Oh, I'm always down for that. Let's do it. All right, so we just made it back and now it's time for a quick build update and we're gonna start with the Ferrari 458 here. We are waiting on parts, but they are on the way. We got all the frame structure pieces, the cages and everything that we need to pretty much reassemble this front end here. And then we're gonna wait on the other parts like the body panels which that stuff comes right after this. So that's pretty much it for the Ferrari. We are also gonna ship off the airbag and look for that airbag, but the main thing is to get this frame welded back in, which is on its way and it's gonna be here real soon. We're super excited about this and we can't wait to get this thing back together. And as for the custom supercar, we got something crazy planned for that, but we already filmed the video, so I can't spoil anything. You're just gonna have to stay tuned for that. It's coming real soon. Now, moving on to the Viper. This thing has been sitting here. It's an absolute beast, but we haven't been working on it because we got so much builds going on right now, and we're just gonna keep this car for a while, so we're not too worried about it. But right after we finish that Ferrari, we are planning on making this our first priority. So stay tuned for that. The only thing that we don't got in for this thing is that windshield, which is going to be on its way here real soon. So that's a quick build update. Now it's time for some fan mail. All right, so we got some fan mail right here. And before we get started in opening this stuff, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for all the love and support. It really just pushes us every day to be the best that we can be. So thank you guys so much. Now let's open this stuff up. Start with this first one right here. And look at this. I got the OG flops. I let somebody borrow them one time and they messed them up, but they fixed them somehow with some with some duct tape. Duct tape. I gotta say, duct tape fixes everything. 
flex seal tape. <laughs> yeah. What do we got in here? Snack bar. Oh, oh my goodness, dude. What? No way. This right here just gives us energy to not take no lunch breaks and just keep working. No, this is good for being on a boat on a hot day. Hey, you ain't lying. Let's see what's in here. I already prepared see prepared exclusively for you by the snack bar. What? Who, 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 who prepared this? Snack bar. No, dude. We got some veggie straws. We got some <laughs> health, healthy options right here. We love. I love these things. These are actually options. pretty good. If you guys never tried these, really good. Any note in here? There's no letter in here, but thank you whoever sent that. Next one here. These are a little harder packages to open up. Yeah, they are. I just gotta rip them sometimes. What? Honda, the power of dreams. Dang, we forgot to do a build update on the S2000. But Go ahead and give them one right now. The S2000, we are just putting that on pause as well because- But we already started a little bit on oh, it. Oh, 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 we got the a little, engine. the engines over there on a, on a stand. Yeah, we did a little bit of work off camera preparing that thing. Yeah, pre we are gonna get yeah. on it, don't worry. The video's guys. coming here real soon. I think it's a throw out bearing. It's what it feels like. Throw out bearing? What the heck? What is that? Oh, no! Snap! No. Dude, you feel that? Oh, that is nice. Let me read this right we here. We definitely needed a new upgrade to the ship knob. Hello, Goon Squad. Huge fan of your work. You guys motivate me to continue inspiring the car community and growing my own business with positivity just like you guys. I have my own YouTube channel, DC5R.Parts, and it's amazing how much has grown with hard work and dedication. We appreciate that, DC5R Parts. Be sure to check them out. All right, we got one right here. I think I'm just gonna give it a rip. Thomas's favorite. Thomas, get over here. What is this? Dude, what the heck is this, is this for got... Buddy? <laughs> oh, don't do that noise, he's gonna come running. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta come running. Look, he don't know what to think. Oh God. That's for you, buddy. There, he's gonna go take it somewhere and he's gonna destroy it. He's gonna be chewing it, but let me Thomas see is gonna destroy oh, this too. This. What do we got here? Hi, Goon Squad. Our little family loves all your work, especially our fur babies, Owen, Burke, Woof Woof, <laughs> Elsa, Finn, and Luna, meow, to watch Thomas and Buddy working hard. Here are some toys for the both for both of them. Hope they love them. Mark Woods, Mo Yawk, North Carolina. We appreciate it, guys, and Thomas and Buddy's gonna love those toys. All right, it's a heavy one. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it. Do what do we got in here? Oh, blanket snack. It looks like a cover of some what? sort. A, a vacuum pack cover, I think. Yes, let me read this letter. Oh, no, this is just like a oh, car cover. Oh, it is a car cover. That's awesome, dude. You know what we need to do? Cover the Viper. Cover the Viper up. So whoever sent this, they already knew that we needed a car cover for the Viper. There's no note in here. No note? Man. No, but whoever that is that crazy. Is, you know who you are and we appreciate it so much. All right, next one here. I like that fragile. Fragile. I love seeing that. That means it's something crazy. It feels this so is... fragile, dude. It feels like <laughs> so soft. This is exciting. Thing. What's inside the bag? I, I'm scared though. Go ahead and read it. Read go. it, go ahead. Hi, Goon Squad. Keep up the great work. Enjoy your British sweets. What? What's British look at that. sweets? Let oh me see. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, dang. Swizzle stick, dude. Oh, we got something similar to that. Something similar, but dude, that stuff what, what, is good. What is this right here? We got some freaking sweets. Fizz Whiz. Look at this. <laughs> dude, I've, I've actually heard of uh, Fizz Whiz before. Definitely gonna put this into the candy drawer and we're gonna be munching on some candy. Thank you, does whoever it, sent that. Does it say? Yeah, it doesn't really say, it doesn't. Oh, right here from uh, Jamie Sheely, Bristol, UK. They probably wanted us to open Dang, it. Yeah, we, we kind of been slacking on this, but what do we got right Ooh, here? Look at this. I like the little gift package. Might have suggested a Porsche GT3 after the Ferrari. Until then, use this to keep a beverage cool while working this summer. Scotty Sweeney, PS, more stuff on the way. Man, what? a GT3, a Porsche. I've actually kept my eye out on one of those, so. What's gonna keep my beverage cold? Dude. Let me see. Dude, I gotta pull it out of the package. Dude. Pull it out, Check see red. Out. Only one thing means if it's red. I knew dude, it. Dude, that's that sick. Is legit. Definitely gonna be whipping the Rari and uh, putting beverages in there. Scotty Sweeney, thank you, good sir. All right, I like the I like the little decals Our right little there. Decals. Oh yeah, let's see what it is here. Hey guys, watch you guys all the time. Made this little wall clock out of, I'm not good at reading cursive, out of, out of, out of pine? Out of, oh, pine. Pine for y'all, stay humble, Ralph Milburn. 
ZR1. That's a ZR1 vet right there. Oh, snap. And they come with a battery. First one that Man. came with the battery right I love there. when I get something with a battery, but dude, that is sick, and we definitely appreciate that, Ralph. All right, so the last one right here, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Oh, snap. What we dude, got? first off, we got clip poppers, but you can never go wrong with more clip poppers because we lose them from time to time. So we lose we, them, we break them. Love that. These are my favorite tools right here. This. We already got some snacks, some more snacks to the collection I'm, I'm right go there. I'm gonna take that for myself. Dude. What is that? No way. Look at that. What is this? This is like for wrap. You can literally wrap. We can wrap our boat if we get some wrap and That's we do it ourselves. Thinking. That is the is biggest pack of gift bag, bag I've ever. ever seen. What is this? What do we got here, boys? And no some more snacks. way. I love more snacks as always, but look, we got a huge variety here. My favorites right here. Definitely my favorites. We got a letter. Yes, sir. This is from Scott Sweeney again. Some more trim tools from Scott Sweeney. More fuel to keep the bills going from Scott Sweeney, man. We appreciate it. You are definitely hooking us up. Alrighty, guys. So that is going to be a wrap. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We could not have done this without you guys. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad to get an inside scoop there before YouTube. Also, guys, be sure to check out GoonSquad.com, copy some merch, and support your boys. And with that being said, make sure your post notifications are on, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.